Looking back at your preliminary task, what do you feel you have learnt in the pro progression from it to the full product? Looking back at my preliminary task, I can see my skills have improved greatly. Just looking at my cover, almost everything about it has improved. The quality of the photos have improved, with a better background, and the costumes and props fit in more with the genre of the magazine. However, I feel what is good on both magazines is that the people in the main image are in direct gaze with the audience, making the audience feel more involved, wanting the readers to buy. My masthead is also better designed on the Dench magazine, as the colours and fonts look more professional, as it has a slogan attached to help the magazine sell more. The cell lines are better laid out, making my music magazine look more professional, and they also explain what the cell lines are about a bit more, so it's easier to understand than on my new college magazine. Also, a plug on the Dench magazine with the competition would attract more readers, so it would interest them, and they would want to win the competition, even though the magazines are aimed at a similar age audience. The contents page is better on the Dench magazine by far, as it looks well set out. The content is well explained so the audience know exactly what they will be reading about. The music magazine also sticks to the sticks and follows the house style, whereas in my college magazine, all the colours are slightly different, making it look unprofessional. My music magazine was made in InDesign instead of Quark, so I could put elements from Photoshop, making all the designed elements look better in my Dench magazine. Finally, on my double page spread, I used InDesign, making the layout look professional helping me lay out the double page spread so it's easy to read and see for the audience. I used elements such as drop caps, new paragraph tools and because it's made by Adobe along with Photoshop I could incorporate what I made in Photoshop into InDesign such as photos to make it all look as good as I possibly could. Overall I have learnt lots of new skills such as different ways to edit photos on Photoshop to give them a different look, depending on what look I'm going for. I've learned to add a slug to my photo on my double page spread to show what the article is about. I've learned that a plug on the cover is good because it can advertise competitions which can draw in a certain type of audience, especially for a magazine such as this, where the competition is linked to the style of music for the magazine. I have learnt to always follow the house style, keeping the colours constant and the same throughout all the pages makes your magazine look more professional and better for the audience, making more people want to buy it. I've learnt that the most important thing is the masthead, which shows what your magazine will be like. It can be used to connote class or the style of the magazine. If you use it throughout the magazine, it will show the house style and how the magazine is supposed to look but most of all I've learned how to incorporate all these skills together to make a good magazine that the audience would want to read.